Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Zach Gaming, and we're back with another uh, video. Um, this video, hold on, my fault. This video, um, we're going to be looking at the rank play uh, stuff. We're reacting to uh, my man's here. Uh, what's his name? Lunchtime, lunchtime with 53K. Uh, we're going to be reacting and looking at his video, talking about the Call of Duty of... Uh, the Call of Duty uh, rank play stuff coming, and I feel like it's only right to just react instead of me go into the game and me, you know what I'm saying, do the stuff that he's t actually telling us right now. So we're gonna react to it and we're gonna see all the good stuff that's coming in the Call of Duty rank play uh, season two. What the heck is going on, everybody? This last time here, I'm bringing y'all the earliest slash unofficial rule set for the CDL rules and custom games. On top of the competitive aspects of the game, one thing we need to talk about is league play or ranked play. It was officially announced that Treyarch is collaborating with Sledgehammer. Yeah, for the ones that don't know, bro, they're actually collaborating with Treyarch. Uh, Vanguard and Treyarch are collaborating uh, to bring uh, the ranked play rules and stuff like that, so... Yeah, just throwing it in there. If you guys didn't know that, that's a pretty good little collaboration with Trey Arch and uh, Sledgehammer, I believe. And the Call of Duty League to create some sort of ranked play based mode, although it's not coming until 2022. So in the time being, we're going to have to get used to the game, get used to wagers and tournaments and whatnot. Might not necessarily be a bad thing because we won't be playing with a bunch of crazy stuff in the beginning. However, I'm kind of So yeah, Sledgehammer and Trey Arch, they are definitely uh, working together. Ideal. Although World War II had one of the best ranked plays, if not the best ranked play modes in Call of Duty thus far. Hopefully, Treyarch will be able to put a good spin on that in terms of rewards, um, skill ratings, and that flashiness of, you know, the Master Division um, that we saw in Cold War. Now, we will find out more details at a later date. So, if you want to keep up to date on ranked play or league play news, be sure to subscribe down below because you best believe we're keeping that on this channel. Once you get into private matches on Vanguard... You can go to the mode and scroll over to Call of Duty League. Here is where you can see the unofficial rules for Hardpoint and Search and Destroy. I guess we haven't found out the third game mode yet. However, there are some important aspects once you switch over to the Call of Duty League that are worth noting. First and foremost being the bans. Um, so far, all shotguns are banned. All shotguns are banned. Well, Thank you, machine. God. Thank you, God. All shotguns are banned in rank play. Yes, 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 yes. That's why I want to play straight rank play, bro. I'm playing straight rank play, bro. All shotguns are banned. Um, so far, shotguns so are banned. Uh, LMGs are banned. Shotguns and LMGs are banned. Those are the two OP, the most two OP, uh, the most two OP gun types in Vanguard. So that's a W for me already. Rank play is already a W for me because of the simple fact is that. No shotguns, no LMGs. Uh, only other OP guns that you guys can really use is MP40 submachine guns. That'd be going stupid. M submachine guns are going stupid. You got the Cooper, the Well Gun, the MP40, PPSH, Owen Gun. Stupid. This is going to be stupid, bro. You still got Marksmen. Marksmen are not banned. Riot Shields are banned. Riot Shields are banned, man. Riot shields are banned from rank play. No riot shields in rank play. Rank play is going to be crazy for real. Riot shields are definitely banned. That's lit. That's lit. I'm happy. I'm happy I said to watch this video. Combat shield is not. And all ARs are still there. You're going to have still all your ARs and submachine guns look like they're still all there. That's as far as guns. Only guns that's really banned is riot shield, LMGs, and shotguns. So, so far so good with the dub. They're definitely bringing the W rank play so far. For each of the guns that are banned as well. So if I go into the MP40 class setup here. Um, uh, all right, all right, all right. So certain attachments, that's uh, that's going to be banned. Uh, you can't use no suppressors. No suppressors whatsoever. Mercs Mercury or the M19 suppressor. You can't use no suppressor, no silencers. Uh, no barrels banned. No up. Uh, Night, Night vision, vision is bad. So Night vision is bad. Thermals. Um, none of the stocks we have to worry about. None of the proficiencies. None of the rear grips. The ammo types. The incendiary. I can see. I can see why. I can see why that they banned these right here. I can see why. I can see exactly why they banned these because of the simple fact is, uh, subsonic, subsonic that don't give you no mini map ping. So that'd be like ghost. 
that'd be an automatic ghost for real. So I'm glad that they kind of banned that out of rank play. And incendiary fire bullets really be carrying people. I'm not even going to cap either. They really be carrying people. Ammo type is banned. Fortunately, we won't have to worry about that. Magazines looking good and under barrels looking good. In terms of the pistols, everything's allowed so far. Launchers obviously banned. The melee is allowed. From there into perks, what we have is a ban on Dauntless and a ban on Ghost. It is important to... Like I was saying, bro, I knew they was going to do Ghost like that. I knew they was going to do Ghost like that because Ghost is... You know what I'm saying? Ghost always been bad, so I ain't gonna really touch too much about that. that. Ninja, survival training, aka attack mask, and fortified, aka flak jacket are all in the same perk one category, which is crazy. In terms of the the perk twos, there's a lot of there's a lot of band ones here, so you're gonna be either rocking engineer or radar. And then in terms of the perk three, demolitions banned, overkill's banned, thankfully, and then tactician is banned. Makes a lot of sense. Going between lightweight and double time, we'll have to see. Um, which of these actually is most beneficial. So after that, we have the lethals throw. This, okay. And what's here, so you're good. In terms of the, a flag jump. The, the per No tracker, no high alert, no forward intel, and no piercing vision. Jeez, Louise. All right. That's that's okay. That's okay. That's okay because radar and engineer would be okay. That's okay. For twos, there's a lot of there's a lot of band ones here, so you're gonna be either rocking engineer or radar. And then in terms of the perk three, demolition, demolition overkill, and tactician. And then tactician is banned. Makes a lot of. Sense. Uh, that's all right. Overkill, overkill, overkill would be cool. Which of these actually is most beneficial? So after that, we have the lethal throw. You got Gannons? They didn't patch Gannon? Bad Gannons? You got Frags and Gannons. I guess Gannons are like your syntaxes of this this Call of Duty. Because they, they explode off of impact. So I guess Gannons are your uh, syntaxes. But uh, no throwing knives, no thermites, no uh, C4 charges basically, and no Molotovs will be a rank play this uh, year. Pretty good, pretty good. Not complaining there. We just want to have fun, man. We want to have fun. Anyways, frag grenades and the explode on impact bombs are allowed. Only stuns and smokes. No stems, no mines, no decoys. I feel like decoys would be okay though. Why would it? Why would? Why? Why would it decoys be okay? Why? 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 Why decoys would it be okay? I feel like decoys would be okay in rig play. On top of that, other things that are important to know. Jesus. Score streakies, score streakies, dude. There ain't nothing but three score streaks you can use, dude. There's nothing but three score streaks that you can use, and that's a glide bomb, a strafe, a glide bomb, strafe, and uh, a glide bomb, strafe, and bombing run. Oh my lord, you gotta get seven, seven to six, six to seven kills just for your score streaks. So score streaks probably not gonna be a big factor in rank play. It's gonna be all running good. It's gonna be all based on gunplay. And if you guys get them score streaks off of your gunplay, then you guys are gonna be set. But I don't see nobody in rank play getting seven straight kills to get them streaks like that and streak out in rank play. So you guys are gonna really have to use your gameplay, your gunfight situations to be OP. You know what I'm saying? Is the only three that are allowed in competitive so far. Field upgrades. Only thing allowed is supply box for ammo and dead silence. The important thing to note, at least initially, is that you get dead silence incredibly We got fast. dead so silence. That's pretty good. That's use, great. Let's say flak or attack and take off ninja. I don't dead think silence either, and ninja. It'll be the end of the world. We'll kind of see how the meta shifts great. over time. But I think for now, it's going to cause kind of some interesting play in terms of the nades and stuns. And maybe kind of have that modern warfare style feel of search and assure where you wait until you, uh, until you have daddy. We'll see you over time. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. What are you looking forward to in competitive this year? What worries you about competitive this year? What we also need to go over is the current rule set for each game mode. So in Search and Destroy, at least so far, it seems pretty standard. You have the one minute, 30 second round timer. So it's still going to be that faster gameplay that we are used to in previous CODs. Six round win limit.
on switch every round, obviously. CDL tuning enabled. We'll have to see later if that impacts like headshot multipliers and whatnot. But I'm looking forward to that. 7.5 second diffuse, silent plant, um, reset plant diffuse progress. Pretty self-explanatory and standard across the board. Now weapon mounting disabled. That's also awesome to see. We won't have to worry about that. You cannot it's mount. Disabled. It's pretty cool that you can actually turn that off if need be. Weapon you can't mount in league play no more. You ain't gonna be able to mount. Enemies on compass are disabled, but you can, but, but weapon pigs on map is enabled. Oh, wow. That's kind of backwards. Things on mini map, thankfully. Ooh, wait, that's actually an interesting point. He has now to worry about running radar i just realized that now so i guess on the competitive classes at least so far i haven't tested this out yet i think you should be able to switch to engineer um because if the weapon pings are always on the mini map at least for the competitive you wouldn't need weapons, radar do you wouldn't need radar have to worry about that perk we'll have to see in practice but that's uh that's always great to see friendly fire enabled per usual battle chatter disabled Dynamic map disabled. Suppressive fire on combat fog disabled. So that's it for the search and destroy. We'll see if there's any changes made for hardpoint. Um, so far, it looks pretty standard. Five minutes to 50 points. Tuning enabled per usual. Initial activation time. Yep, before that first hill spawns up. Spawn delay timer. Okay, so we're rocking a two second spawn delay. Um, it's not like previous Call of Duties that I've had no spawn delay. Weapon mounting again turned off. Thankfully, friendly fire on, um, suicide penalty, three seconds, thank you. Third person spectating off, so everything, it seems like they really thought it out, at least so far, these are good signs, these are good signs, but those are the current rules for search and destroy and hardpoint. What I want you guys to let me know in the comments below is what you think the third game mode should be for competitive Call of Duty. So guys, that's the end of the video, man. You guys let me know in season two. And rank play going to be a W or L down below in the comment section. Are you guys playing rank play? Do you guys want to play rank play with me? I need a solid four that's going to play rank play with me day in, day out. Let's get these ranks. Let's get to the top rank. Um, hit that like button. Share this video with your friend. I want you guys to know all the rules and everything coming to rank play in season two, which is in approximately two days, less than two days. So, yeah, I'm going to be catching you guys on the next video, and I am out. Peace.